Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. So I apologize uh, for not having a video on Tuesday. I did get a 955 relic on the uh, DK. Um, I just had some personal things going on. So uh, unfortunately, um, getting a video out just uh, just did not happen. So like I said, I apologize for that. But today I wanted to give you guys a video. We're going to go after the Lich King mount. So I want to talk to, about mounts a little bit and mount hunting and things. I love it. And I think this expansion has been one of the best expansions if you're a mount hunter. I haven't really took advantage of everything, right? Just because um, I just haven't done it. And if you hear some water stuff in the background, my dog's drinking some water. But um, I've been... Uh, it's been a great expansion for mounts. It's been a great expansion for collecting things that... Legion is coming to an end, and um, I'm really happy with it, you know, but uh, I think one of the best things to come out of it was uh, Mythic Plus, and you know, what I really want to see, is I want to see a mount for Mythic Plus. I know it sounds, uh, it's going to be sound elitist or whatever, I know some people get crazy about that stuff, but uh, I wish we actually had a um, ranking system that worked correctly, Raider IO is okay. But it is definitely not the uh, end-all, be-all, right? Because um, I think we did, a, I think it was a 15 Court of Stars the other day, and it did not get registered because it was not in the top 500. And we like to play um, on the weekends. So if it's not in the top 500, then your score doesn't get calculated. And if you have, a, um, if you have someone from another realm, you can try to... Uh, scan them and if they're top 500 on their realm you can get then you can get added but if you're on a popular realm then a 15 is just nothing and with raider io score being the you know the thing you have to do it'd be nice if it actually worked correctly but that said it's going through third party so i'd love to see if blizzard actually did something kind of like they do with um pvp on how they have their ranking system on for twos and things like that. I wish uh, they would actually make one for uh, Mythic Plus. That said, once you're able to get, you know, like what, just kind of like a gladiator, you know, title and uh, the gladiator mount, I wish they would do something with that for, uh, for Mythic Plus. But let's be honest, Mythic Plus is the future of World of Warcraft. Some people don't think so. It definitely is. Um, with, uh, oh man, I got... I got webbed um, with the uh, popularity of it. it. It's just amazing. And I'm, I'm talking about popularity, and they don't even advertise it. Like the uh, the Mythic Plus Invitationals. Who knows when the next one is, right? you got to dig deep and find some research on, uh, on when the next in uh, Mythic Plus Invitational is because Blizzard doesn't advertise it, which is, uh, which is crazy to me. Uh, no, we don't want that. But um, I want I want like a a mount at the end of the season. You know I want uh, you know titles at the end of the season. I want I want Mythic Plus to uh, to be really really pushed into a whole nother level where a three thousand rated player you know that they're better than a two thousand rated player if that makes any sense. And like I said, I know some people will think it's uh, elitist and everything like that, but it's definitely not. Because, um, you know, I'm, I, to be honest, I don't think I would ever be able to get that mount because there are some amazing players out there that, uh, that can push way higher keys than I ever can. So I won't ever get the mount, but it's something cool that I know that's there. I know I can push for, even though maybe I can't achieve it. I know I could try. And that's, uh, that's something, uh, that really excites me. So hopefully they do something like that because... Mounts are cool, and I was talking to one of my friends about this, and I wish mounts did different things. Back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember this, but the uh, the gladiator mounts actually, uh, they actually were like the fastest mounts in game, I believe. They were super fast, and um, obviously you needed, uh, I believe it was epic riding or something, but the mounts had different speeds, and I like that. I think it was 310%. I think a gladiator mount was and maybe it still is I don't know I I believe they actually put all the mounts baseline like if you're if you don't have um, epic flying it's like 150 and if you do it's like 280 or something I'm just throwing out numbers but 
I wish mounts did different things. I wish, um, you know, like bird mounts, for example, um, this mount right here, right? The, uh, the one you get off the, uh, the new raid after you do, uh, ahead of the curve. I wish bird mounts actually were like, they could actually fly higher than any other mount, right? Like, I wish there was secret spots that you could actually get to once you achieved certain mounts. And bear with me. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. But if, um, if you got a dragon mount that's, you know, uh, or let's say the Firebird, the, uh, what is it called? I, I forget, but the Firebird from Firelands, um, it's fire. So I think there, it, it should actually be able to like swim or fly under some lava thing somewhere in the world. And all of a sudden, you know, you get to this rare this rare boss where you could, or this rare spawn, and maybe it drops some, uh, you know, some transmog, or maybe it drops a, a, a pet or something like that. Not another mount, obviously, um, but unless, no, not another mount. But you, I think you guys can see where I'm getting to, right? Maybe the bird mounts can fly super high into places that normally you couldn't fly to because you have a fly cap, but with this flying mount, you can actually get over this fly cap, and there's actually a um, some platform or something up in the air where you can get to. I think it would be cool for mounts to actually have more of an identity rather than just um, a cosmetic thing because right now they are just cosmetic, which uh, which makes them cool. But I wish there was a little bit extra. I, I wish they would dig a little bit deeper into the mount collecting and actually make content for for mount collectors, right? I think it would actually really push people to try to go for mounts uh, even more if, uh, you know, you had a um, a pad or a transmog or, or something tied into it. I think it would just be a something, something fun, right? Something fun. I don't know. I'm just talking crazy. I just, I've been, I've been really into mounts lately and uh, I don't have a lot, but I like the chance on getting it. Like, um, for example, the uh, uh, the last boss in uh, the new raid that we're currently in, in Tauros. There she is. I got woke up early this morning, so. <laughs> but um, the new boss in uh, or the uh, last boss in um, Argus, um, in Antoros, it actually uh, has a chance where you could actually get a legendary, and I actually got that legendary. And I was super, super excited. And there's a lot of people upset. Like, we should all have that. No, you should not have that. It's a legendary drop. And, you know, people complain about legendaries. And, oh, I wish it was the old way. And I wish this. I wish World of Warcraft was harder. And I, Well, you know, and then you have all these people complaining about not having a legendary drop that's supposed to be super, 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 super rare. Good. It's supposed to be rare. There shouldn't. Everybody shouldn't have that. And it's the last boss. It's a it's a giant power increase, but you shouldn't have that. So it's just like with mounts, you know, they're they're really rare, and it's it's exciting, you know. It's like all right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna try to get this mount. We're gonna see what happens. And uh, sometimes you get them, and sometimes you don't. And it's just a uh, it's a cool feeling. So um, I, I wish they did uh, more things like that, and I wanna. I just I love mount collecting. I, I suck at it, right? I the rep stuff. Oh, what I gotta do rep or I gotta do some quests. Uh, that mount is going to be a uh, a little bit difficult for me to achieve, right? Because uh, the fact that I hate doing that stuff, but I have done a few, you know, just to get it done. So it shows you that uh, you know you build the content and uh, players will uh, will try to achieve it. So that's uh, that's pretty cool in its own. Also, I was um, I tested out the uh, the Demon Hunter a little bit on the uh, BFA uh, the beta and stuff. I'm not super into betas. Um, it's cool to have the access and it's cool to be able to go do it. But I. I do not want to get burnt out on the content, and uh, I did a video of the beta, and it didn't look like it did very well, and that said, I haven't been producing a lot of videos, so a lot of people, um, like, like, YouTube won't share my content with people, because I haven't been, like, super active, which sucks, even though they're subscribed to me, 
they won't share it. So that said, um, if you guys want to like the video, <laughs> like the video, leave a comment. Um, just saying like, uh, I don't know, Mickey Mouse. All that stuff really does help as, as dumb as it sounds. You know, there are a lot of YouTubers that kind of overdo it. But um, with me, I'm a small YouTuber. I don't, you know, I... They don't they don't care about the small youtuber and you'll never see my videos So make sure just you know to stay active with it and hopefully that uh, that helps you Notification bell and stuff like that that always helps too. I think <laughs> sometimes but um But yeah that that video didn't do very well, so I don't know if people liked it or not I'm I'm still up in the air about the uh, the beta it's or the uh, the new expansion. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be cool, but I'm just not excited as uh, as I was for past expansions. I don't know if that's just because uh, I've been playing the game for a very long time. Um, a lot of you guys are really excited about it, really hyped about it, and I'm over here like, hmm. It looks like the same old thing to me, you know, it, um, now we have a bunch of allied races that we're going to have to deal with and uh, we're going to have to level and all this other stuff. I I'm looking at more work than uh, than anything and I'm also kind of nervous about the, uh, the no tier set thing and I don't know, there's a lot of, um, we'll see what's going to happen. I do like a lot of the changes though they've been making to some of the classes. Um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm in one of those boats where, uh, uh, demonology looks really fun and, uh, the power and stuff on the, uh, on the classes right now, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how strong they are or anything because everything changes. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the beta. They're, they're going to tune stuff in time. They're, I think the, uh, I think they have raids out right now, a few raid bosses, and what usually, usually, what they do is, what they're gonna do is they're gonna they're gonna let people test it out. The uh, the bosses usually have a lot of HP, and then um, the boss fights are just really like longer, so people are actually able to test them. And Blizzard's getting feedback, and Blizzard is also tracking numbers and things, and um, that's how they're gonna figure out a lot of things. So once all that's figured out, then uh, tuning starts to be a thing, and we'll see where uh, where all the classes land there. So you don't really want to judge off of uh, DPS. You want to judge off of you know how the how the class plays, and um, it seems like they've done some good stuff. It also seems like they've done some uh, questionable stuff. Um, one of the biggest, and you know everybody talks about it, is the. Uh, um, the global cooldown change for, you know, for cooldowns and things, uh, the global cooldown. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just the GCD, right? I, I don't, I don't agree with it. I see where they're trying to, trying to like say it's okay, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel good. And if you're giving me the choice to be offensive or defensive, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of weird. And I do understand that, um, you know, they want to get away from the big burst, like popping all the cooldowns, and then you're doing just tremendous amount of DPS. I understand that. But overall, just make the cooldowns do a little bit less DPS, right? And then uh, boost us when we're not, you know? Make us do uh, passively more damage, like when we're auto attacking and stuff, and uh, take away the uh, the big burst window. But you know, I don't know. the The problem that I have with it is the uh, the pool is my favorite part. When I do the pool, it's like, yeah, here we go. We're busting all cooldowns. We're popping potions. It's going down. Look at that DPS. Oh, we're peaked, and then you know we we gradually go down. But uh, for well, for some classes, and um, that's just it's. Just doesn't feel fun. It feels uh, feels like you're really having to just like wait and hit. I don't know. I don't like it. But um, so let's talk about allied races a little bit. I'm gonna talk about a lot of stuff in this video just because we got a lot of time, but also because I haven't uh, been able to talk to you guys in a while. So 
I want to give you guys my opinion on uh, multiple things and stuff that's happening. But the um, allied races, I think, are... <sighs> I think they're a bad thing. And I, I know this is going to sound weird for some people, but I think they're a bad thing. I want, like, uh, races used to mean something a little bit, and they don't mean as much right now. Like, to me, with all these allied races, I'm like, I don't know. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of become some, like, EverQuest thing where you have, you know, tons of, of races, and it's going to be like, uh, you know... <laughs> It's reskin content, right? There, there. It looks like reskin content. We have a brown orc now. I know there's a lot of lore stuff that goes along with all this stuff. I understand that. And why didn't I glide? But I understand a lot of. St I, I, come on, you know. I want if I want a new race or something. It used to be, uh, you know, like when we got Worgen and Goblin. It was, uh, it was part of the expansion. It, it felt nice. It felt big. It's like, oh, we got two new races. Now when we have like, all right, we got two new races uh, for each um, Horden Alliance, and then we're going to have another one, and then we're going to have another one, and then we're going to have another one. It's just going to get uh, to the point where it's like, who cares? <laughs> you know, it uh, just doesn't matter. Um, unless the racials are really good, that's that brings up another giant thing with uh, with PvP and with, um, with raiding and... You know, because you're always going to want to pick the best guy with the best racial, right? If um, if I get to choose... Why is my mouse not working? I'm having a hard time killing these things. Um, if I have... I could, I have a choice between, uh, you know, doing, you know, 1% extra DPS or, you know, looking pretty. You know, it's obviously... I'm going to choose the 1% DPS. Doesn't mean everybody will, right? But I, I just don't like the the allied race thing going on i i think there's going to be too many races it's going to be an easy thing for for blizzard just to be like all right what we're going to do today is uh instead of making uh this new content let's just make this blood elf a purple elf right or a night elf mohawk or something you know bring in something that's like all right here we go you're just adding something in that just I know I'm probably triggering a lot of people, but I'll, I'll leave it at that. I I think it's okay that we're having a few new races, but if we're going to continue to add new races the entire expansion, you know, what's, what's going to be left when... I think they're taking out a big part of, uh, of an expansion builder, you know? Like I said, Worgen and... Um, Worgen and Goblin were like really, really exciting for me. Um, blood Elf, uh, being able to be a Blood Elf was uh, was a giant thing for me, and um, and then all of a sudden we were a actually able to uh, be a, a Paladin. You know that was that's kind of different. But uh, Pandoran, um, the pandas, some people hated on him, but man, that was exciting. I loved being able to play the new race, and I was like, yeah, we're we're Pandoran. And, um, I just, I, I don't, I don't get that feel with the new, with the new races. And maybe some of you guys do, but I don't get that feel. If they only brought out Mountain Torrin and one other one for the Alliance, it would be very exciting to play. But because they're bringing out multiples, and I know they're going to bring out a lot, I'm kind of just biding my time and being like, all right, well, which guy am I going to invest time in? Because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to waste my time leveling up some mountain torrin, and then all of a sudden something comes out that's better. I, I don't know. I, I'm weird in that way, and it probably doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense in my head, and that's what matters to me, right? So uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm still not sure about this expansion. Um, there's a lot of questions on what, like a lot of rumors, like, um, you know, a few of my friends, they love that stuff. They're, they're all like into, all right, what if this, what if that happens? What if this happens? And, uh, that stuff's pretty cool. I'm not super into that. You know, it's, it's fun hearing about it and it's fun talking about it, but, um, 
I'm more or less like, let's go kill some bosses. You know, I want to, I want to kill some bosses. What is the, uh, the end boss in BFA? It's probably going to be an old God is what I'm thinking. It, could I be wrong? Probably, but uh, I think I need a new Nostromo. My uh, my Nostromo is not working very well with my double jump. Hmm, that's not good. Don't want to spend money on that, but that's what I play with. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know who the the end boss is going to be. I'm thinking um, it's going to end with some old gods, and that's going to be uh, pretty cool. What I want. Just putting it out there. What I want is I want the dude that's in this uh, raid that I'm in right now to make a comeback. And uh, Bolvar, that's who I, we're talking about here. I'm, Lich King is Lich King and um, whatever. But uh, Bolvar is, and I might, have, might even be saying his name wrong. Big B is uh, the Lich King right now. So when I refer to the Lich King, that's who I'm referring to. I want him to come back. We did get some interaction with the, uh, the Death Knight um, artifact quest and things. I want that dude to come back and be like, hey, what's up? Let's uh, let's throw down, you know? Uh, Sylvanas is uh, doing her deal. I want to see uh, I want to see the Lich King come back and uh, and show that he's still the Lich King, you know? But he's frozen right now. He can't move and stuff. Right? I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the case. But uh, I'm sure there's some uh, dragon fire or something. I don't know. There's probably something stupid that... Why can't he break out? He can break out of ice. But um, there's got to be something that, uh, that they can put him in the storyline. The Lich King is such a big character, though, that if unless they're doing a full expansion, I don't see them wasting a character like that. Arthas will probably never come back. I don't see Arthas ever coming back. Well, his horse came back. <laughs> so uh, the mouth that I'm going after right now. All right, this is the thing. Here, here it is, guys. If I get the mount today, right now, lit the Lich King, Arthas, will be resurrected. He will be, and he will be, and not the next expansion, but the expansion after that. Because if our troll king <laughs> that was taken out, Vol'jin, he's going to come back. I'm telling you. He's going to be resurrected. If they can resurrect him, and if they get all this power of the, uh, the Azerite and whatever it is, they're going to be able to resurrect the Lich King. Which, the Lich King will resurrect Frostmourne. And then classic servers will pop up. No, <laughs> they're so. But if I get them out, if I get them out right now, we're getting Lich King's coming back. The Arthas, the original, the original, right? And he's gonna have a new throne. Where could his new throne be? Where can his new throne be? Um, let me go. Demon four, I'm popping cooldowns. Doo -doo -doo. I love it. Um, where could his new throne be? Something crazy. He will take over Black Temple, right? He will take over Black Temple, and he will uh, he will sit on the throne of uh, where Illidan once stood or flew. All right, we need a throne. He'll bring his own throne. Okay, he'll bring his own throne. He'll be able to sit there, and uh, and he'll take the war glaives. And the war glaives will uh, be his new weapons. <laughs> yeah, that probably won't happen. But if we get the mount, I'm telling you, he definitely will be resurrected because this mount is so frustrating to get. I've only here's another guy. I've only got uh, 67 attempts on it, which is actually not that many when you start thinking about it. But it's still okay. It's like a 50/50 chance. That means it's like a 50/50 chance for me to start getting it now. So. We'll see what happens. But if it, if we get it, guys, he's getting resurrected. He's getting resurrected. And uh, I would love... Wrath of the Lich King was my expansion. That was... Uh, 
it was so cool and I fought so hard to get to the Lich King and uh, I never killed him and I was like I was heartbroken I was like no why and, and there I'll tell you the story right here it was a uh, it was my own guild and um, you know it had my wife in it my brother in it and a few of my friends in it and we would pug the rest and you know that was our guild that was our team and uh, I loved raiding and we only raided once a <laughs> once a week for a couple hours we like we push as far as we could for that one day. We would never um, do a second day, which is the reason why we never got Lich King down, as you know how like long the dungeon was, and um, or long the raid was. And I just <laughs> we we got to the Lich King and we just couldn't kill it, couldn't kill it. But uh, you know we were we weren't the best players back then, but man did we have fun. We had fun. It was so amazing, and I actually joined a, a guild that was uh, that did defeat Lich King and stuff, but um, it just wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. So that said, today, right now, we will see if the Lich King will ever come back. What do you think, guys? We're gonna eye beam him. We're gonna eye-beam him. Please, Arthas, we want you back. Here we go. <gasps> nope, Lich King is dead forever. Well, that's uh, that's the end of our discussion. So uh, if you ever wanted to see Lich King again, we can come here and we can look at him. You know, his helmet fell off and stuff. Uh, Arthas, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, my bad, dude. I just wanted your mount. Hopefully you uh, come back for a future expansion in a cutscene or something that uh, people you were in their memories But unfortunately because you did not give me the mount. I know you will never ever ever come back So that said like favorite share subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a longer video. I apologize. Uh, just not being around lately um, Real life stuff has been real life stuff uh, once the expansion starts coming out You'd know I'm gonna be do like 20 videos a day. You just you know how I am on that, you know new content I'm, go I'm going crazy over um, old content right now. Um, you got uh, everybody else making making videos about it. So, all right, guys. That said, like, favorite, share, subscribe. Do what you need to do, and I will talk to you guys soon.